is getting the pens exciting for you guys? Yeah, that's uh, anytime you see a fall at this level, it's pretty exciting. Helps the pin pool. Uh, it's good. It's good. Uh, you put somebody on their back, get off the mat, finish it, and move on. So it's good Good for these guys. For both of them to do it the same night, though, kind of cool? Yeah, it is really cool. I didn't even think about that. But I guess they're sitting here for a reason. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. To, to stay on that, Eric kind of said your brother took the spotlight. I mean, you got the pin and he had to kind of follow up. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, every match, I just try to go out there, get as many points as I can, and, you know, and then he comes up and follows. So it's a good duo. Scott, if you let me get a little big picture here. Last time you faced Ostra three years ago, 845 fans at the college at gym. Yeah. Does that kind of, you know, take you back and put some perspective on how far this program comes? Yeah, it, it does. You know, we were sitting there, I was talking with Coach Leo about that. You know, there was a. Uh, I think that was a pretty tough night too. It kind of put it on us. If I, am I we won. Yes. Okay, so then maybe two years before that they beat us. In college, I remember Dan Hopkins and Winston's those days. Uh, I just remember that for some reason them beating us at College Ave Gym, and then here we are now, and and uh, we, we've come a long way. There's no question about it. We, there's a long way to go still. Uh, you know, that's that's a good program. It's a different school. It's a small school on Long Island with a great wrestling tradition. Uh, he'll do a good job of getting that thing better. He works really, really hard. Coach uh, Coach P works really, really hard at what he does. So, uh, yeah, it's come it's come a long way for us for sure. And uh, we like wrestling Hofstra. It's a good Long Island, New Jersey type thing. Coach, you gave a takedown, I think, at the beginning. Uh, something kind of changed for you? Is it a slow start? Or? Um, I don't know. I have... I think in all the matches that I wrestled, um, I usually have a tough time get going, just getting a feel of the guy. But as soon as that first score goes, um, I usually get rolling. I remember there was a match last year at the Big Tens, the first match. Um, Goody, Goody, um especially said, you got to get going quick here. Don't be standing around. So I start standing around. He gets the first takedown, and immediately I start rolling from there. And then ended up having a good tournament. So, I mean, that's kind of something that's been happening. Obviously, I want to fix that. But um, it's not terrible if I can get rolling after that. So. Coach, how impressed have you been with uh, Michael stepping up this season for Anthony? Not surprised. <laughs> very, very talented. Uh, I think the biggest thing, and I said this earlier, somebody outside – has really been consistency. You know, it's been consistency, and and part of that's on us. You know, we're preparing for certain guys, and we kind of get in his head. And I just use the Lockhaven kid as an example. It's all about the Lockhaven kid, and not about what he can do. So maybe that's a little bit on us too. But not surprised. Super, super talented. Extremely explosive. Exciting to watch. Uh, knew he'd be very, very success successful. He's got a long way to go to get where we want to go, and he knows that. The biggest thing's been consistency, and now it's starting. You can see it starting to happen. Even at the Midlands, he didn't finish the way he wanted, but then he comes back and he's starting to really put some things together. So beating some good guys too. So I'm not, I'm not surprised by it. Uh, he's going to have a really, really good career here. I'm feeling good. Um, I just want to you know, keep moving forward. Um, happy with the wins, but not satisfied. And I got a long road to go. So back to the drawing board. Mike, just to get back on that pin, you almost pinned him in the first period. Did you kind of make it an emphasis to to pin him again? Um, yeah, I, I mean, every match, you know, you just kind of try to look for the best position, you know, in each each situation. So uh, I saw the position, got the fall, and worked out fine for me. So, uh, Scott, Richie, four straight win at 165. Just what have you seen out of him in, in that team? He's, he's good. He's good. He's got to keep wrestling at that tempo, that pace, uh, keep scoring. He's good. He's, he's got some big ones coming up, so we're excited for it. I know he is, so we look forward to it. But this is kind of where we thought he'd be. You guys have some big ones coming up yep. just generally as a team. I mean, do you feel like you have the momentum you want right now? I mean, I don't know. I mean, this is a heck of a challenge coming up. It's a heck of a challenge for us. Nebraska has always been a really good match between us and Nebraska. Uh, it's a road trip, and, and this is where our team, this is where you really got it. You're right now you're in the middle of January, so the whole country, there's guys that are going to start feeling sorry for themselves about the travel, about their weight. about. And we, we've normally done a really good job of locking in on, on the task at hand, and that's what we got to do. There's adversity right now, right? we got to wake up really, really early. we got to jump on a plane. we got to get out to Lincoln. Uh, who knows what the weather is out there? we got to train. we got to get our weight off. And then we got to face a really, really good squad. That's Big Ten wrestling. 
and you got to face it and embrace that adversity, and there's no feeling sorry for yourself, and that's the challenge for us right now. And the guys who feel sorry for themselves ultimately won't be successful. And that just doesn't go for Rutgers, guys. That goes across the country. This is the toughest part of the season, mid-January, uh, with big matches coming up. And that's kind of my mindset right now. Let's get these guys back to the hotel. Let's, uh, let's get some food in them. Let's get a good night's sleep. Let's get on that plane and get ready to go. How difficult is that? Because I think you have two weekends coming up and in one place you got to fly or vice versa. It's difficult if, you, if mentally you think it's difficult. And I've always said this, and the guys who have wrestled for me in the past, just wrestle. Just wrestle. We're going to get you to the arena, and it might be trains, planes, and automobiles to do it. Just wrestle. Be prepared to wrestle. And that's it. If you use that as an excuse, you're going to be on the wrong end of it. And then it's even a longer ride home. So just wrestle. That's the mindset. To jump on that question, uh, last week – after the UNC match, um, we went down to wrestle at an open down in Millersville, and we do uh, this team psych uh, session with uh, one of Donnie's friends. And Suriano brought up one time in that um, session, he likes to go into this Zen mode type thing where um, he doesn't have a feeling about anything, no emotion towards something. Like, that's the mat, that's the ref, this is my opponent. It's just those are the factors. So if you look at it like that, that gets a lot easier. Like, all right, playing, all right, workout win, move on. If you look at it more like that, it gets easier. So how, important, guy. how important is it to have the mindset because you guys have to focus on Sunday, whereas everyone here is already thinking about Penn State? Yeah, I mean, well, I don't know why they would be thinking about Penn State already because uh, Nebraska's – yeah, well, I understand, but Nebraska's <laughs> going to be a very good match um, as it is. So uh, I don't – I would expect people to be excited for Sunday. Obviously, it's only uh, a day and a half away at this point. Um, it's going to be a lot of exciting matchups, so I don't think we should be looking past anybody. Obviously, we're excited for Penn State, too, but it's one match at a time. Um, so I would hope that they all tune in for that Nebraska match first. Mm -hmm.